ag ní smón an nocha finged den agnáhoga listeha. Ta hart ar kitve a canal plandi fi vagart, as pahri im dain huxa in a gush im ní o hev kaven hade. A cadas fedlu ní ina fi shó. Creden Killian McLaughlin of Wild Ireland noon ngau ar fedlu an chormiacht a yeshu, ma hugame de rash cud dar nanvaha duxa. Is a shin most fatal in our narca general to fame, modelish and dooler a hokru freshen. Ancient Irish people had a great respect for wildlife, they had a great respect for their predators. Their wolves were called Maktir, which means son of the land or son of the country, and that was a term of almost royalty. And unfortunately, we've lost that attitude. And I saw that when I, when I proposed bringing these animals back. You can imagine I was met with a lot of objection and a lot of, uh, I suppose, panic or hysteria that these animals are going to be roaming the countryside eating farmer's sheep. That has to go. We have to, you know, look at what the wolf really is. You know, they're a, an essential part of the ecosystem. Without them, everything in the in the pyramid below them goes out of balance and implodes. Yeah, and we see that imbalance with the, you know, there's maybe too many deer yeah. roaming in the national parks. Sure. There's possibly too many foxes, too many crows. Sure. Yeah, so these animals will help regulate that and bring back a natural balance. Yeah, so the wolf is what's known as a keystone species. So you have to imagine it like a pyramid and all these blocks are in place and the last pyramid at the top, or the last block in that pyramid at the top is the wolf. Uh, and, and everything else will be where it's supposed to be if the wolf is in place. Where there is a niche in nature, something else will step into its place to, to take over. And um, when the wolf disappeared, the foxes had a chance to overpopulate. And when they overpopulate and you have too many of them, it causes an imbalance in this ecosystem and other animals start to suffer. So if we had wolves, for example, in Ireland, the fox population would be kept at a perfect check, uh, at a perfect number. Uh, and animals like curlews and things that are ground nesting birds actually benefit from these big predators. It works its way down the chain. When you take the top one off, the rest fall out of balance below them. They saw that in, in Yellowstone National Park. They had a massive problem there where their whole ecosystem fell out of balance when the wolf was hunted to extinction. In 1995, they brought back 15 wolves. Almost overnight, things changed in the park. The deer and the bison realised that the top predator was back in the park and they started to act differently. So they no longer stayed in the one place and overgrazed it, killing everything. Because they knew the wolves were back in the park, they had to keep moving just in case the wolves were on their tail. And animals like beavers and birds that hadn't been seen in the park in decades returned to the park. The whole place is now back in balance. Like what's required to make this all at all possible? You mentioned habitats there. Yeah. We could maybe think about linking our national parks using wilderness corridors. And I mean literally linking Glenvae National Park in Donegal with Killarney National Park in County Kerry, that the wolves could quite literally roam from Donegal right down the west coast. It sounds a bit mad, but I think the ecological benefits would be tremendous. We may displace some of the farmers. I appreciate that, I understand that. But there are ways that farming and wolves can coexist. So, it doesn't have to be people losing their livelihoods. How about like something a bit less daunting or, or fearful for people? Ireland is a part of the European ecosystem and the wolf or the bear and the lynx are the top predators. So lynx may be an option. They're a large cat, they do prey on deer. And again, it's about having that predator back, even though the predator is not necessarily hunting uh, or decimating the deer population, it's just them being there and the deer and the herbivores know that there is now a top predator back in the landscape, so we must change our behavior to avoid them. And that involves the deer keeping moving and, and stopping the overgrazing and, and giving the trees a chance to bloom. But as I say, that is an ecosystem and it must be looked at as a whole, not just as little parts of a puzzle. They all have to be put back before it functions properly. We have wiped out a lot of nature, and especially on an island where these animals can't come back. If you look in mainland Europe now, like Belgium, for example, and certain parts of Germany, the wolves have managed to make their own way back there. 
on an island like Ireland, we cannot wait for nature to come back. We have to do something to bring it back. But when we do, it, nature has evolved for millions and millions of years and it has its own ability to manage itself. But it's up to us to reinstate it and then leave it alone and let it look after itself.